Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another tutorial on Android programming. We'll be looking at the share on Facebook, you know, the ability to share from your application to Facebook or the share of image and share of um, content. Actually, this is like uh, an advanced aspect of my uh, famous android facebook uh login integration so you sh should have covered that particular um tutorial in my um youtube channel you can get that i will uh employ you to go through that video first before you come over to the share aspect of the uh android facebook application uh this is going to focus majorly on sharing of content sharing of images uh probably taking a photo and sharing it to facebook through your application or selecting a particular picture from your um, gallery and sharing it up to facebook or sharing a content that probably a url or uh, a web um, page or a snippet to you facebook or uh, to uh probably as a post or to um to a sort of like uh, the timelines and probably share to other friends on Facebook. Uh, quickly, I would like to do a recap of or, or a short introduction to this development. Now, Facebook nowadays became an integral part of everyone's lifestyle. You know, using this platform, it connects and share with their friends and the world whenever they want. You know, to benefit app developers with these features, you know, Facebook created various apis which developers can use to connect with their their app with facebook so we're going to be uh doing something of such i would like you just to sit back relax get yourself ready and i'll walk you through on how this application is being built so that you can also replicate it or use it as a course of study uh firstly i have android uh android studios i have my application right set up i won't be typing each module of the application but i'm going to give you a, a sort of high level uh overview of all the needed aspects of the application and the source code will be placed in my github so that you can pick it up and use it and learn more from it we'll go to the strings in order to specify string is always in the rest values folder you have your strings uh you must have a facebook app id before you can have access to use the facebook apis i've done that i've explained that in my previous tutorials on um the facebook integration which adds it had um two parts part one and part two where you, you can able to create your facebook um app as a developer on facebook developer console get your app id and get yourself uh, running and start to create applications that calls on facebook apis so this uh, facebook app id code here which i would like to insert my own facebook app id which i created right in the previous tutorial so i have one seven zero three five all right that's my facebook app id for the app called um intuitive it's for the app called intuitive i try to copy that so that we, because we are still going to replicate it in some aspect of the uh of the application so i'll quickly move to my money first the android manifest which is the control to me is the control panel of any android application in the android value i'll try to paste in my uh sorry for that let me just undo this okay the string facebook app id okay that's fine i'll place it here no sorry so definitely it should be it should definitely pick it which is from this value
okay try to replicate it again okay that's fine it's okay okay so um i'll do a run of uh, a run up on how the manifest should look like we should be you should be familiar with our manifest this time but there must be a permission for the internet and the right external storage because we will be calling from the memory card and also saving to the memory card i have an activity which is the the main activity over here and i, I also have um um the intent filter you no know, which is the launcher activity we all know that so i have another activity called the facebook activity which is uh by default from facebook and also another one called the home activity we all have the java class here so that's how that's the high level overview of my money first i will quickly dash to my layout which is quite important let's see how the layout of the application will sit we have the activity home the activity main the app bar home the content home the nav header home but i will explain the app bar home which is going to be the front screen of the application i know it's a coordinator layout that has a child layout of the app bar layout and also the widget toolbar the version 7 of the widget toolbar that gives a title called welcome okay the relative layout sits in it in which the relative layout has, has a text view of the welcome after facebook login that you can see right on your screen here okay and we have two buttons the first button is the share while the second button is the image the share image button this is going to share content and this is going to share the particular image that we are going to talk about okay uh i will do a rundown on the home activity the java class which is very very in a cut of our application okay it has a lot of imports which i won't go through everything at the moment but in the source code you get to you know to lay on some them you know there's this json object that keeps the response the profile pic and the profile url a text view which has the which are uh, the text view variable for the username and the user email the image view and so on we have the share dialog as well okay uh we're gonna override the uncreate method which is the sdk initializer method which are uh, is actually being uh constructed below we're still going to get through that this is going to call the home uh, the activity home and also set the toolbar the button and the image share from the id of uh the layout you know set the title to home page get the json data for that particular um users uh uh page that's from um facebook you no know? we have the share dialog this is um this is when you initialize the facebook share dialog while by passing the content title which is how to let me call it um develop an android application okay all right uh i need an android camera application from the camera application okay okay actually this is going to share the link uh the share dialog is going to switch to the native facebook for android app then returns control to your app after a post is published you know we are actually going to need uh, a Facebook app running on your device. I mean, on your Android device. Because this is going to pass a sort of intent to that Facebook app to take up what you're sharing to the Facebook uh, uh, application. So it's actually, they actually work in par. It's not just independent on its own. So this snippet handles that up to here. Okay. I'm going to move on. Uh, this is going to select the image, create a sort of alert di dialogue, you know, 
whereby it's going to either request you know it's going to actually ask that it's going to be a dialogue like take a photo choose from a library probably from your memory card or from your gallery folder or you can sue if you don't actually need that so these are um, statements actually test for which particular one you chose and pass it to the right intent for execution the if if it's take photo create an in start an intent to request the camera if it's the library request the external content uri which can be the memory card and if not dismiss that click uh cancel the uh, dialogue okay that's the high level overview of the home activity we still have some other functionalities which i won't be covering at this moment because of time i'd like you to lay your hand on the source code uh we have the sdk initialize this is very very important this actually initializes the and uh, the facebook sdk which we pass in as a method in the on create method very very important and also the uh the set user profile method okay let's look at the main activity the main activity also calls on the facebook sdk initialize no, it gets the login details of the user. I also get the user information, you know, on activity results. Uh, it requests the code passing three parameters, the integer request code, the result code, and the intent, the data in particular that has been passed as the intent. Okay. I would like to build this application and let's see it run. But uh, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I won't be using uh, an emulator. I will be using an uh, application called BlueStack, in which I'm going to build my APK, and I'm going to pass it into that uh, desktop application that runs any Android APK. So I'm going to be using BlueStack. But firstly, I would like to build up and compile this application so I'm going to click on my uh, run app button. So it compiles and build up the application. So meet me in the, in the next session where I'm going to run this application on the BlueStack uh, desktop interface.